Hello and welcome again to another edition of Friday Afternoon Divrei Torah. After a two-week break for a simcha, I'm glad to be able to be back to present this Torah to you this week. In this week's study, we read about Moshe Rabbeinu and how Moshe made his way to Pharaoh to tell him to let the Jewish people go. And before he goes, it says that God tells him, God tells Moshe Rabbeinu, I command you to treat the Jewish people correctly. And to tell Paramech Mitzrayim that it's yes, but it's yes, And Rashi says, you know what? When you speak to Pharaoh, you have to be extremely respectful. You have to treat him correctly. You have to treat him nicely and you have to speak to him the way you speak to a king. Now, it seems strange that God should command Moshe Rabbeinu to speak to Pharaoh respectfully. Pharaoh was a murderer. Pharaoh was a megalomaniac. He was a killer. He was a crazy man. Why in the world would we say for this person deserves that sort of respect and deserves to be spoken to properly? And the Hassam Sofer... Rabbi Moshe Sofer, who lived about 150 years ago and was one of the leaders of Hungarian Jewry, gives a very profound answer to this question. And he says, because Pharaoh was so used to getting his way, before, because he was the king, because he was the one that people looked up to, he wasn't used to people talking to him and making demands from him. Kings don't have demands made of them. They make demands to other people. And now Moshe Rabbeinu is coming into the palace by Pharaoh, and telling Pharaoh what he wants, how he wants it, when he wants it. And people could turn around and say, Moshe, how dare you? And for Pharaoh, this would be a very embarrassing moment. It would be a very embarrassing episode, and the truth is that it really was a very embarrassing episode for Pharaoh. So Hassam Sofer says, you know what? Embarrassment is something that hurts but embarrassment is something that sticks as well. And embarrassment is something that forgives you for your sins. And so that even though Pharaoh had many sins and had a lot to account for in enslaving the Jewish people, should he go through embarrassment, we were worried that that embarrassment would take away from his sins and would make it so that he wouldn't really deserve a punishment, that he wouldn't be able to give the ten plagues and so HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu, you've got to be careful here. You want to go through this? You want Pharaoh to receive the ten plagues? That's fine. But the only way you'll be able to do this is by treating him with respect, by not embarrassing him, by giving him the respect he deserves as a monarch. And then when there's no embarrassment, then it is possible for him to deserve this punishment. And it's an amazing thing to think about when you think about how easily we embarrass other people, how easily we make comments or jokes on other people's behalf, how easily we'd be willing to drag them through the dirt or make a comment on social media or portray them badly. And the truth is, embarrassing people hurts. Embarrassing people is a terrible thing. But embarrassing people also comes to cost you on the long run. And this is what the Torah is teaching us on this week's Sedra. Treat everyone with respect. Whether they deserve to be treated with respect, whether they don't deserve to be treated with respect, you still have to treat them with respect because embarrassing people is not an option. Have a very good Shabbos.